Hey y'all, this is your girl Dickie Shea 32. I am checking in to <laughs> let y'all know that I couldn't hold out. Um, I'm just getting off of work or my clinical site. Um, and it's pretty late. It's about 1040 uh, where I am. But um, I wanted to go ahead and get started because I know I have a long day ahead of me tomorrow as it is. But I couldn't hold out anymore. I am getting ready to take these bad boys out. Yeah, getting ready to take them out. Um, and I think I'm going to try to leave. We'll see how it works after I get through washing and stuff. <clears throat> but I think I'm going to try to leave because to remind you, I have the my hair and twists on um, and these braids and one of the reasons I miss my hair and another reason is like my hair is trying to tell me something because I'm finding more and more that are like sticking out and I've you know redone them I don't know how many times so I'm not gonna keep doing it um because like I said I miss my hair anyway and I'm ready for them to come out so it's been two weeks I actually kept them up for two weeks which is <laughs> pretty good for me but um I also wanted to show y'all that um, a couple of things that I got um, a couple of days ago. I got my new uh, Terra Central Mud Clay Washes. Um, I got these are two other ones that were recommended for my hair type and texture. Um, this is the lavender, and this is the lemon. I don't know if I want to call it lemongrass, but Left Coast Lemon. Um, so I don't know which one I'm going to try first. I'll probably just do any, me, my, my, I don't know. Um, I hear that I've heard great reviews from both of these. So I'm actually going to let one of my friends try the, uh, sultry spice. Cause I still have pretty much a whole bottle. I probably only used maybe that much of it. And, um, I haven't even opened the cool mint. So I'm going to let her try those and see how she likes it. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I got the, these a couple of days ago and then I'm glad I kind of waited to take my hair down because I also got my stuff from uh, Curlmark today. Um, I ordered the As I Am Moisture Milk. It's like a leave-in or refresher or whatever you want to call it. It says Daily Hair Revitalizer. And then... I also finally broke in and decided to get me a dimming brush. Um, so it's perfect timing, huh? Because I, maybe I can actually try this out, um, depending on if I, whether or not I take out my twists, which I know I'll probably end up taking them out. Um, just because I uh, like to make sure I get rid of all the shed hairs and really make sure my hair is detangled. But they also sent me some samples. Um, this Harold's, I kind of heard a little bit about it, but I don't think any of the ones that they have are protein free. So I, I don't know if I'll be trying this out or not. And they also sent some oil from Matrix. And the main stuff in here is um, olive and shea butter and carrot oil it looks like but they they're kind of at the bottom some stuff i can't even pronounce so uh it's supposed to be a d uh to minimize frizz this is a smoothing oil so yeah they sent these complimentary but um yeah so i'm about to get get on and get started so i won't be up all night um hopefully it won't take me too long to take these out and uh, I'm probably just gonna um, wash a couple of times. Like I said, I don't know which one I wanna do. I'll probably just start try the lavender one first. Um, but wash a couple of times with it. And then, cause the, the I told y'all before, it has a little, uh, what's the word I wanna? Cleansing process that you're supposed to go through uh, or that's recommended for you to go through that's um, at least seven days. You could do it longer depending on how damaged your hair is. But uh, so I'm gonna try that for um, seven days. But for the first day, they tell you to wash it three times and then the third time to leave it on a little bit longer. They say several minutes, but I think I'm just gonna 
let it sit overnight and um, see how that works out. So, because I know I'm probably, if I don't do that, I will probably just um, deep condition overnight and I haven't decided what I'm gonna deep condition with, but we shall see. Um, so that, that's probably what I end up doing is just deep condition overnight so I can just get up tomorrow, wash it out and do something to my hair. Um, so yeah, but I will check in once I get these out and probably looking crazy, I'm sure, because I know we're pretty late. Um, and I'll also come back, try to come back after I've um, used this and tell you how it goes. All right, y'all. Peace. Okay, y'all. It is about 12.50 in the morning. And um, I just finished taking them, taking the, uh, I'll say, can you give a spring twist out? Um, and I'm getting ready to go ahead and wash it a couple times with the tears and these quit scratching my scalp. But I'm going to watch it with the tear essentials. And um, I left it in the twist, as you can see. Um, so I'm going to let, I'm going to uh, wash it and let it sit on overnight because I'm tired. I'm ready to get in the bed. So I will come back to you tomorrow um, once. I wash it out and get ready to condition. I'll probably just condition, deep condition tomorrow um, under my hooded cap. And since I'm not going to do it overnight, but just want to check in, let y'all know. All right.